the one or something, then me and Hamdi, I think we put me and Hamdi in together, and then he scored again. So we just stuck with the game plan, and they knew they couldn't keep 34 in it that much longer. So we knew, we said in the timeout, we said, we're going to go on a run right here, and they're going to have to put him back in the game, and that's exactly what happened. But the game plan was still the same. Go inside. Go inside. Um, just going inside in general. We knew um, we had success going to the paint last year, and that's been our formula this this year so far in the past couple of games. So um, we the, the other day he played like 37 minutes and had zero fouls. So we knew if we go in the paint, he's not going to want to foul us. So all we had to do was just finish. And I think me, Hamdi, and Justin, Jordan even had a nice post move today. We all did a nice job finishing in there. We missed a couple bunnies, but we just kept attacking. And at the end of the game, we wore them down. Oh uh, yeah, most definitely. You can see like the, the, the they kind of it kind of took the air out of them, and they kind of like put their head down a little bit, and then um, they took they made a tough three. I think it was Buckingham or something towards the end, but that was like a desperation shot. That really wasn't a good shot, but it, he ended up making it. But if he had missed that, it really would have like just shut them out completely. What about the crowd tonight? It was pretty good. It was, uh, really intense, just like the uh, the Dayton game we had. Um, I mean, Coach showed us a video before the game. Is just some of our fans, just um, of the pride they have um, in in our school and our city. And we knew this game wasn't just for us; it was for everybody in the city of Richmond and the, the VCU um, fan base in general. So we knew we weren't just playing for ourselves; we were playing for our fan base, our faculty, and everybody who's associated with VCU in general. We knew we wanted to send them home happy, as you heard the chant. Like we are the University of Richmond, they were chanting at the end, so you could tell they were happy with the victory. Um, he normally doesn't do it in a regular season. Like we saw it last year, in like the eight ten tournament and stuff like that, with all of our family members, it kind of surprised us. It was a video, but for him using it this game, it kind of caught us off guard. But it's good motivation to get the team going because, like, so sometimes you forget you're playing for more than just the people in a the room. There are a lot of people you're playing for, so it's just a, a subtle reminder and just makes you go play even harder. Um, just his quickness. <laughs> because Justin's too humble and won't say too much, can you describe what he's been doing over the past three games? It's a very difficult stretch of LaSalle, Dayton, and now Richmond. Can you describe what he's been doing putting up 18 and 9 on average? Yeah, it's very great. I mean, it's a lot. It just shows his hard work. He puts in the work after practice, after shoot around. He's working with Coach Taylor, Coach Wade. Um, I need to get him off nine rebounds. I think it's like three straight games with nine rebounds, so I need to get him a couple more double doubles. But I mean, he's putting in the hard work. He put. In the, I mean, he was injured a couple times in the off season, but it just shows like that when he plays at that level, how it picks our team up to another level, opens things up for me and Hamdi. And once they have, they can't help off him as much because he hits a little mid range jumper in the short corner, it opens up the lane for the guards to drive a lot. So what he's doing is amazing. Hopefully, he can keep it up, he's playing like an all conference player right now. Um, still still um, play, trying to play with first place effort. That's what Coach Wade preached us all week, play with a first place effort. Like if we did something like Haspi, he's like, is that a first place effort? So when we go on the road, we know St. Bonnie's is a game behind us or something. So it's the game's pretty much still for first place. So we just have to take that effort on the road, take the show on the road, and not make compounded mistakes like we have in the past on the road and just play our game. And we know that's a tough environment. They're going to sell out. It's probably, yeah, that place is crazy to play at. <laughs> you, you guys have really caught fire here, as, as you've been saying. Do you feel like it's becoming more of a habit now where it's just coming more natural for you guys to play at the forum we've seen the last three games? Um, yeah, I think we've get, we've gotten a lot more comfortable playing inside out. At times, it's kind of like it seemed like coach was just like forcing it, just throw the ball inside, throw the ball inside. But now it's like more we're getting, we, he's putting more play calls to get the ball inside, and the guards are like seeing it and seeing how if we get the ball, kickouts will be open and driving lanes will be open because we're all willing passes and we're all willing to pass it back out if we don't have an open shot. So it's pretty much helped the flow of our offense. Justin, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Uh, they were out. They were out rebounded you in the first half, 16-14. This is not a team that usually out rebounds people. What was Coach Wade saying to you guys in the locker room about that? 
I'm just attacking the glass, being aggressive, and uh, not worry about uh, getting getting bad or, or dumb fouls. Just being aggressive. Yeah. Else, guys? Yeah. 